this episode of the Office of the Technologist, I'm going to cover a topic that is near and dear to my heart, and that is AppV. Recently, Microsoft released the first preview version of Windows Server 2025. If you try this preview version for yourself, open PowerShell and run the enable AppV commandlet, the AppV client will be enabled, but you will be greeted by a warning message. This warning message specifies that AppV will be end of life in 2026 and will no longer be available in new Windows operating systems with a link going to aka.ms slash AppV deprecation, which points back to the same old Microsoft Desktop Optimization Pack landing page specifying April 14th, 2026 as end of extended support. There's been much speculation about the future of AppV over the last couple of years, as Microsoft's advisories and words seem to contradict their actions of including AppV as a feature in recent Windows operating systems and its inclusion in the Windows Server 2025 preview. If we take the warning message literally and also assume the preview of Server 2025 reflects the features that will be available when the first generally available version is released, AppV will continue to be in the operating system as a feature through at least the initial release of Server 2025, but support from Microsoft will end in 2026. At that point, for all intents and purposes, it will become a case of use at your own risk. But what is the risk though? If you're an existing AppV customer and you've tried to get support from Microsoft, you may already struggle to find adequate support as such resources for the product are limited. The AppV full infrastructure has not had a meaningful update in many years. In fact, there has been a bug in the AppV database setup scripts for about a decade now, and the SQL versions supported have edged close to end of support several times in the past. The AppV client will continue to be in supported versions of Windows for several years, regardless of whether the AppV client is supported. New versions of the AppV sequencer should not be included in future ADKs when the client is not in the OS counterpart. But once again, support has been lacking for the AppV client and sequencer issues for a while. The major risk is the possibility of a future OS update or configuration manager or into an update breaking the AppV client or the deployment and execution of AppV applications. Microsoft will have no obligation to work on fixing this for you, as they have outlined it is out of support from April 2026 onward. Also, if you try to migrate your AppV applications after the end of support and run into complications, you could have no recourse through the support team then either. At the App Manage event that was held in October 2023 in Utrecht, the godfather of AppV himself, Tim Mangan, urged attendees to take the warnings of AppV's end of life in 2026 seriously. He stated those using AppV should begin assessing their options and planning their migration. And I would add that a typical migration project takes about 18 months to complete, so you'll want to start planning now. You need to have your project plan for migration in place before the end of this year. But I would like to take this opportunity at the end of the video to share my personal love and appreciation of AppV. And while organizations may have struggled to successfully sequence applications into AppV, those of us who invested the time and effort into learning the technology have long advocated for some of its benefits like uh, isolating applications, dynamically delivering applications and application updates, and delivering software as a service to Windows desktops right into the user's desktops and start menus. It is a shame that AppV never became the foundational pillar of end-user computing that some of us hoped it would become when Microsoft first added the AppV client directly into the Windows operating system. But say la vie, we cannot waste time lamenting what has been lost. In this rapidly changing landscape of enterprise IT, we must focus our time and effort into driving our organizations forward with new solutions. And that is why I encourage all AppV customers to begin assessing their options and planning their migration. And when planning a migration, you should set out what your success criteria is for truly modernizing your application management. Your success criteria must include continuing to dynamically deliver applications, enhancing desktop security at the application level, automating application packaging and patching, eliminating common application issues that plague your service desk, and the flexibility to deliver applications to any Windows desktop, whether they be on-premises laptops today, Azure virtual desktops tomorrow, or a hybrid option of both. Determine what is most important for you, assess your options, 
and finalize your migration plan. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of Numescence Office of the Technologist. We've included some useful links in the description below. Be sure to follow for more great videos and also check out numescent.com for additional materials.